everyone, this is Kate Schwenke, and I'm doing a series of videos of how bags fit on the body. I'm 5'2 and 125 pounds, and today's bag is the Jujube Hobo Bee. This is one of my favorite Jujube bags, and it's also an all-time favorite for a lot of other people. Um, this print is called the Admiral. It's got little anchors all over it. It's super duper cute. And uh, it's part of their Jujube Legacy Collection, the Nautical Collection, so it's brand new and... I've been using it for the last few days and been very, very happy with it. So, um, first of all, I'm going to show you how it looks over the shoulder. Uh, this is as uh, short as it goes. <laughs> uh, some people decide to take off this strap and then they add on a seatbelt strap, or like I like to do, I like to take this strap off and use a BFF strap from a BFF. So I'm going to show you how you can wear it over the shoulder with this strap first, and then crossbody, and then I'm going to switch over to my BFF strap. So. This is over the shoulder with the hobo bee strap. It's pretty comfortable. I wouldn't choose to wear it this way just because I prefer wearing this bag crossbody. But here you go. Some people prefer this to be a lot shorter under their arms, so that's when they get the seatbelt strap. So that's over the shoulder. Then it has an adjustable strap, so you just pull it down however far you want it. Probably longest would be best for me, because I like to wear it as long as possible with this strap. So This is crossbody. I always like to wear mine a little bit behind me, just so that I have my arms free in the front to grab the kids. So that's crossbody, and I'm going to show you real quick how you can take this strap off if you do want to change it out. Just uh, one second. It does take a few minutes usually to do. So you would loosen it a little bit first. Prop it up on my leg here so you can see. Um, if you wanted to take this off, all you would have to do is pretty much squish this together. If you can see that, there are two little prongs here. See? It's like broken in half so you can remove it if you want. And you would just remove it from that side. Ta-da! It's pretty easy. A lot of people don't know about it and they are tempted to actually cut their strap off. Don't do it! I almost did it once when I was a beginner. And then I discovered. So there you go. Ooh. Okay, so I have fully removed my strap. Here it is. And like I said, I like to use my BFF strap with this. So that's what I'm gonna go grab real quick. Here's my strap. This is from my Commodore BFF. They don't sell these separately, so you'd have to have a BFF in order to get one. But it's so cute with this bag. So these are really easy. They just have clips on them. So you just clip it to one side there and one side over here. First, I'll show you crossbody with that. This is the exact length that I always wear crossbody. As you can see, um, you can get this to go a lot longer. You just pull it down. I'm not going to. <laughs> but you can make this a lot longer than the Hobo Bee strap. So that's awesome for people who like to wear it extra low or if you're really tall. And now I'm going to attempt to shorten it a little bit more. The strap's a little different because you have to, if you want to have it extra short, you have to actually thread it through here. Might take me a minute. There we go. So I pulled it through. It also needs a little bit of breaking in because it's brand new. All right. 
So this is as short as the BFF strap goes. I'd say it's probably a little bit longer than the Hobo B just because it has the clips, but if it didn't, it would probably be shorter. So, or maybe it's about the same. Either way, I like it better than the Hobo B strap. <laughs> So there you go. Hopefully this video has been helpful for you if you're looking to see what size this bag is and that you can remove the strap if you want and add something else. So thanks for watching.